so it looks like it's going pretty well the coals are the right color there's the might be a little too many much charcoals in here but that's okay and then that's corn wrapped in the foil and i used a um sunflower seed coconut oil mix uh oil and then some garlic pepper like a garlic uh, powder and uh himalayan pink salt and pepper and then i put it in there so i'm gonna leave it for 30 minutes and cook in there and then um i'm also going to attempt to cook shrimp and uh meat uh maybe hamburgers we'll see so i have my fire gloves they came in the mail and what we have now on the grill so I have corn and then I put in some mushrooms and then I took some shrimp and put it in some lemon juice and garlic and uh, pepper and salt. So we'll see how that goes. So <clears throat> the mushrooms seem to be very moist and they seem to be doing actually pretty well in here. The corn has been on for about 35 minutes, so it's probably done. So we'll just see how they look in a little bit. This uh, caught on fire. I think it was the oil actually come dripping out from it that actually caused it. So we had a little fire, but uh, I got it out and I didn't set anything on fire. So we're still good. And it looks like we still have a really hot grill going. So I'm going to throw this shrimp on. And uh, see how this goes. And spread them out. I read online it said about seven minutes for shrimp so it seems like I cooked it well enough and thorough so I'm just going to pull this off I love these gloves um, they can stand temperatures up to 900 something degrees so it's super cool and my coals are still hot uh, I'm gonna clean the grill off a bit and then we're gonna try burgers next. So let's see what it looks like. Wow. Well, that looks pretty good. I think I did a good job. <laughs> and I have three more in there, so hopefully I didn't set any on fire, but uh I think that was a pretty good job, hopefully. So I just tried the shrimp and the mushrooms. And I have to say, they were pretty good for being my first time and really not knowing how to really season it. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, the next thing I'm gonna try is this meat right here. So, you know, we'll see. 